everybody, and welcome to the bad lighting corner. Okay, maybe it could have been better lighting if I had actually filmed this earlier, but I had to read it first and then do a review. And I'm doing two reviews in one night, and then hopefully editing a review from last week. <laughs> Anyways, as I told you to read, like, three hours ago my time, uh, we're going to read uh, 1999 Shanghai today. I was wrong when I thought it was a Chinese manga. I thought it was because it has Shanghai in the name. And I thought, like, maybe he was writing about Shanghai because he's from Shanghai or somewhere else, or at least Taiwan, anything. No, it's, it's definitely a manga. It is written by Mizushiro Setona. Setona, yeah. And uh, the link is down there. And it was written in 1996, so if it's a little old, it's okay. We're going old school yaoi today, everybody. Classy. Um, I could try to say the names of the people that are in this. Um, the one is Dawu and one is Jingjue, 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 Jingjue. I don't know. I'm not very good at Chinese words, so we're gonna call them Blondie and Sexy Lip. Okay, so basically the premise of the story is that it's like a Romeo and Juliet scenario. Actually, it's pretty hardcore a Romeo and Juliet scenario. Uh, Dawu, um, Blondie for all intents and purposes, um, he is like. Well, he's a drug lord's son, but the drug lord was killed, and so he was, like, taken in by this, like, kind of kid gang, and there's, like, these two gangs that are kind of fighting over things, and there's a ceasefire zone. But, um, basically this guy was walking through the ceasefire zone one day, and he met this guy that was like, Okay, first of all, I'm gonna mention this. There's some weird English in the beginning, but there's not weird English. It's just... The editor needs some help understanding some grammatical things. Basically, you get sexy lips walking up to Blondie at the bar, I guess it is, and everybody's telling Blondie to take a shot and be a man. And then sexy lips is all like he takes the shot for him. He's like, you're not a man unless you can do a shot. But they don't say you're not a man. He's like, you're not a man. <laughs> and he's like, I've been a man for a while now. <laughs> Uh, I guess they have to just mention his italics though, because they are guys. Um, there's a lot of yaoi in this. Basically, the premise of the story is that everybody's gay. Oh, I take that back. The woman's not gay. And technically one person's bisexual, but mostly everybody's gay. Anywho, back to the main storyline. Uh, so Sexy Lips and Blondie end up going to a room, and then they don't do anything because they're outside the room. He's all like, I'll see you again later or something. I got something to do. And then Sexy Lips walks off with his sexy lips. And then they meet again at, like, this thing, and there was a sniper, and then they found out that they're from the other gang, and one's, like, the top assassin. That's Sexy Lips. Of course, Sexy Lips is the top assassin. Why wouldn't he be? Sexy Lips is too sexy to be a boss. But then Blondie is, like, the next in line to be the boss of the other gang. And so, I don't know, but the vice boss is the chick that ruins everything because it's a yaoi, and of course the women ruin everything in a yaoi. That is the lesson from 90% of yaois. Women ruin everything. And I can say, as a person in reality, it's a true fact in life, too. Women ruin everything. I say this as a woman. We ruin everything. This world would just be run by a bunch of gay men. Like, seriously, it would solve so many problems. I feel like I read somewhere that somebody wanted gay men to rule all the political positions because then they could have orgies to solve their problems. Not entirely sure where I was reading that, but I thought it was hilarious. The Hitalia fans would be all over that shit in no time. Anywho, so like any good Romeo and Juliet thing, there's a lot of tragedy in here. Um, there's a lot of death, there are about gangs, there's drug things going on, there's people getting shot. Uh, there's Sexy Lips' best friend, uh, who's apparently out of his mind. There's a lot of people getting shot. There's a lot of guns. Uh, there's a lot of rape. Lots of rape. <laughs> Uncomfortable amounts of rape at time. And then there's consensual rape. But then there's a thing about taking people, and I don't know. There's a lot of strangeness going on in it. Overall, I would give the story... I'll say four out of five. Um, I really like it. There's a lot of good things, just some translate things in the beginning, but that's not the manga's fault. That's probably the translator's fault. And I like the ending, and I liked the characters. The characters all had really good depth, even like the ones you didn't really know all that well. There seems to be a lot of backstory that could have been there that I would have liked to see. So we are ending this review now. Um, there won't be another review made tonight because uh, this my parents should be home soon, and I don't want them to walk in the middle of it. But <laughs> especially because next time we're gonna do a review of Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, 
and they could walk into some interesting conversations with you guys if that's the case. So that's the end of the spoiler free section. So go read Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, which I don't think you can read online if you well probably it's the internet. So uh -huh. it's been great seeing you all and bye. Okay, spoiler section, yay! Um, okay, I loved everything about this, uh, minus some of the plot holy things and some of the things I would have liked some improvement on, but oh my god, sexy lips, he just got sexier as the story went on. I think I would have liked some meat more on the story with the two bosses, because I feel like I was going somewhere and then it was just dropped off. I mean, there might be more stuff by Mizu... Ha, Mizu... Mizuhiro Satona. Oh, there's a lot of stuff by this guy. <gasps> this is the guy that did After School Nightmare? Oh my god, I am all over this shit right now. We should do a review of After School Nightmare. That is a great book. I'm sorry, I'm going to have a night for this person now. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Like, the ending was so sad. Like, I always get so sad when I read that because you're sitting there, like, hoping, even though you know it's Romeo and Juliet kind of thing, you're like, I really, really, really wish this doesn't end badly. And then they're in the bedroom, and he's got the gun, and he's like, oh, I'm going to hide this, but then they're like, I'm going to shoot on thing. And then he shoots, and then there's not a gun because he can't kill them. And then the guy's all like, oh my god, what did I do? And then Sexy Lips drags his corpse outside, and everybody shoots him, and then everybody's sad. But then everybody moves on as they have to because it's a romantic tragedy and that's what happens things get solved and people come together the montagues and the capulets and 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 the the, the I can't pronounce the taolon and jing longji jing longji I definitely could have dealt with less crazy bitch uh, when that whole thing happened when she shot him and he shot her like it made sense um I'm not sure why she would shoot him in the arm and then give him enough time to shoot her in the head, even though, like, he already kind of messed up his shot. I'm like, I don't know, some of that timing seems a little weird. Like, I can see it, but it just seems improbable. Um, and I'm not sure where he was wandering around all day with an arm when he could barely get in the front door. And I was like, we can't find him anywhere. But he's, like, walking into the guy's front door with his arm, like, bleeding out. And he was just, like, laying on the floor being like, I can't go on. It's like, how did you guys miss him? It's the guy with the blood running down his arm walking down the street. That's about it. So we will be reading Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Go read it. And that's the end of this review. And maybe the week after we'll do After School Nightmare because it'd be so fun. There's so much to talk about with that one. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. We're totally doing After School Nightmare. So it's been fun talking to you all. And I love you all very much. And I will see you another time. Bye-bye.